in the field of botany. Previously, we thought only the human beings have sexes and the animals have sexes, male and female. We did not know that even the plants have sexes, male and female. We came to know recently, 100 years back, 200 years back, 300 years back. Quran mentioned 1400 years ago in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 53. That is, he who sends on water from the sky. With it, brings forth diverse pairs of plants in pairs, each separate from the other. The Arabic word used is zawja, meaning pairs, male and female. The Quran says in Surah Rod, chapter number 13, verse number 3, we have created every kind of fruit in pairs, two and two. The Quran says that not only the animals and the human beings have got pairs, even the plants have got pairs, male and female. The Quran says in Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 36, that it is he who has created everything in pairs, the things which the human beings know and the things which the human beings don't know. So not only the animals and the plants and the human beings have got sexes, male and female, even a phenomena like electricity. Today we know that even the electricity has got atoms which has got negatively and positively charged, protons and neutrons and electrons. Quran says that he has created everything in pairs. The things you know, the things which you have knowledge of and things which you don't have knowledge of. In the field of zoology, Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 38, he says that it is he who has created every animal that walks on the earth and every bird that flies in the air to live in communities like the human beings. Today science tells us that like the human beings, even the birds and the animals, they live in communities, which we came to recently. Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 60 and 69, it is he who has taught the bee to build its cells in trees, in hills, in human habitations, and to eat of what the earth produces, and to find the spacious path of the Lord with great skill. What does the Quran mean by saying it, it has taught the bee to build the spacious, to find the spacious path of the Lord with great skill? It was so fond fresh in 1973 who got the Nobel Prize for discovering the movement of the bee, the behavior of the bee. And today science tells us that whenever a bee finds a new flower or a new garden, it goes and tells its fellow bee the exact direction of the new flower or the new garden with the process called as the bee dance. And furthermore, this gender used for the worker bee in Surah Nihal chapter 16 verse 16 and 69 is the female gender, Fasluki or Kuli. Previously we thought that the worker bee was the male bee. No wonder Shakespeare in his play, Henry IV, he writes that the soldiers, the male soldiers, they go out talking about the bees and they report to the king. Today science tells us the worker bee, the worker bees are not the male bees, they are the female bees. And they don't report to the king, they report to the queen. Imagine, the Quran even describes the sex of the worker bee as being a female gender which science has come to know today, recently, and Quran mentions 14 years ago. Quran says in Surah Kabut, chapter 29, verse number 41, that the parable of those who take for protectors anyone besides Almighty God, is like that of the spider. They build for themselves homes like the spider and verily the home of the spider is fragile. The house of the spider is fragile. Besides describing the physical nature of the house of the spider, the, the web of the spider being weak, it says that anyone who worships anyone besides God, they are building for themselves houses like that of the spider. Besides being fragile and weak, it even gives an indication about the family relationship. Today science tells us that many a time the female spider, it kills the male spider and they're called as black widows. Imagine the Quran, besides describing the physical nature of the house of the spider being fragile, it describes the physical relationships. It is like that of the spider 
which many a times the female spider kills the male spider. Quran says in Surah Namal, chapter number 27, verse number 17 and 18, that when Solomon and his army, with hosts of men, jinns, and birds, when they walked, and when they approached a lowly valley of ants, one of the ants said, O ye ant, get into the human habitations, get into your habitations, lest Solomon and his army will unknowingly trample you beneath the feet. People may think, what kind of a fairy tale book is the Quran? The ants talking among themselves? It sounds like a fairy tale book. What an old book it is, 400 years back. But today, after science has advanced, we have come to know that the animal or insect, which has the closest resemblance to the lifestyle of the human being, it is the ant. The ant buries the dead the same way as the human beings do. They have a very sophisticated method of labor in which they have managers, they have foremen, they have supervisors, they have workers. They have a very sophisticated method of communication where they speak to each other. They very often meet to chat. They even have marketplaces where they exchange goods. You know how we have marketplaces, how we have sukh. The ants have marketplaces where they exchange goods. And when an ant stores any grain and if the grain begins to bud it chops off the bud as though it knew that budding will cause rotting of the grain and if in monsoon in rainy season if the grain gets wet the ants get it out in the sunlight to dry as though they knew that humidity will cause root system which will cause rotting of the grain you know many times we see the ant taking grain and then going in the sunlight we wonder where they are going they are going out in the sun to dry the grain as though they knew that humidity will cause rotting of the grain. In the field of medicine, the Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 16. In the field of medicine, the Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 16 and 69, that from the belly of the bee, we give you a drink of varying colors in which there is healing for humankind. Previously, we did not know that honey was obtained from the belly of the bee. Recently, 200 years back, 300 years back, we came to know that the honey is obtained from the belly of the bee. And today we know that honey has high nutritious value. It is rich in vitamin K and fructose. And today science tells us that honey has got mild antiseptic properties. No wonder in World War II, the Russian soldiers, they used honey to cover up the wound. And the healing of the wound was there with very little scar tissue. And due to the density of the honey, bacteria and germs and fungus was prevented to grow in the wound. And if a person is suffering from allergy of a particular plant, if honey obtained from that plant is given to him, that patient starts developing resistance to that allergy.